Hey there trainers, Alakaham here with some more Pokemon Video Magic, and we are about to dive into the Ultra League for the uh, off-season that's going on right now in Go Battle League. But before we do that, I thought it might be fun to share a theme team from the Great League week that we've had this past week. And uh, the theme here is snakes. I don't know why I decided to make this video. I just wanted to do something fun before the end of the Great League rotation this week. And uh, I saw some snaky looking Pokemon and put them together. So this is just for fun. And uh, I think it actually turned out pretty well. So this is one of the, the better videos that I think in terms of the actual battle recordings in a while because they are uh, they're pretty close in a couple of these matches. So we'll go ahead and just dive straight into the commentary for this uh, snake-based theme team. We have Superior versus Lapras on the lead in this first match, and my opponent makes a swap out into a Metacham. We're going to go ahead and throw Aerial Ace to do some super effective chip damage before swapping into Seviper. I have never really committed to doing much in terms of building a Seviper. This one only has the one move, which is uh, your, you know, your basic debuff move with Poison Fang there. And it's really just to kind of soak up damage and to debuff opponents so that I can let Superior and Gyarados pull most of the heavy lifting there. So Seviper is going to go down to this Surf coming through here, but we forced the Lapras to throw its energy, and I decided to come in with the Gyarados because it was going to have a much better time tanking those Ice Shards from the Lapras, taking neutral damage instead of super effective damage. But my opponent had already sort of anticipated that I was going to bring in Superior, so... Uh, I, I think I was able to take them off guard, and I was able to bring in the superior here. But now we are in a fairly precarious position because my opponent has a Unova Stunfisk, and the original Ufisk has access to Electric-type moves, which are going to do lots and lots of super effective damage to the Gyarados which is weak to Electric on both the Flying Typing and the Water Typing, obviously. So uh, I go for the Aqua Tail immediately to take out the Ufisk, and my opponent still had the Lapras left in the back. I could have gone for the Crunch to be really, really safe there doing neutral damage, but I figured that the, the Lapras was low enough. I just needed to do as much damage as possible to take it out before they got to a potential Ice Beam or Skull Bash. So we were able to, to uh, pull that one off, and then coming into the next game, we have a little bit better time on the lead here. My opponent switches into a Sunny Cherim, and we have a great response in Seviper because this Poison-type damage is going to be super effective. I really expected them to let the Cherim go, but I guess they decided they had enough energy. They wanted to go ahead and try to get some shields out of the way, and... Uh, yeah, that one went quickly because they realized that was not going anywhere good for them, and they decided to go ahead and concede the match. So we didn't see what was in the back for that particular opponent, but it looks like maybe they did not have an answer to Superior. Uh, happens to the best of us. I've lost a lot of matches this past week because I overlooked some unique Pokemon's cross-typing and then my teams got swept, so it definitely happens. Uh, this poor opponent got completely farmed down by that Seviper on the safe swap. Um, poison types are are pretty pretty good now in the uh, Great League meta, and in general, they're doing a lot better. When Go Battle League first started, poison types were not doing uh, all that well. Their moves weren't weren't really realistic enough to be operational in the game. But now with the buffs that we got a couple of seasons ago, the moves are much better and those, those Pokemon are much more viable. Okay, we did have 
a little bit of delay there because you'll you'll probably notice that the top of this frame is a little more cropped than usual and that's because I did have a message come in and I uh, did not want to give away that person's information so I cropped out that message and then tried to work on uh, putting things on a do not disturb mode and it was a whole deal but it was not enough to uh, keep me from being able to proceed with the match thankfully and we were able to clinch that particular game with the Gyarados against the uh, Shadow Alolan Sand Slash which was pretty cool. I should do a video with Sand Slash or Alolan Sand Slash sometime soon because both of them got legacy moves and I haven't really focused on uh, showcasing that yet so maybe that's a video I'll do in the future. All right, coming into this match, picking up a fantastic lead against the Swampert, and I'm going to go ahead and stay in for just a second, as I did with the first match against the Metacham, to chip some damage and then bring in the Sviper. Had I been paying more attention and counting the moves there, I probably would have known that that was just an Ice Punch and not a Psychic, so that was a misplay on my part. So my opponent does get shield advantage, but that's okay. We have switch advantage, and we have Viper to debuff whatever comes in, and it is going to be that Swampert. So if that's their best answer here, that's, uh, that's pretty okay, because we still have at least one shield, and we have the Superior to deal with Swampert. And uh, now that the Swampert is debuffed, look at how much those vine whips are doing that is incredible <clears throat> but we're we're in a kind of sticky situation here now because my opponent's last pokemon is uh, ariados and as a poison bug type that has a lot of play against superior because grass is weak to both poison and bug and even though those moves are resisted by the gyarados the trouble here is that Gyarados is extremely glassy. Uh, Gyarados really does not want to tank even resisted moves. So I did as much as I could to let the Gyarados soak up a little damage there, and I was debating about whether or not I should just let it go, but because we already had the Aqua Tail loaded, I thought it would be important to go ahead and get that Aqua Tail through, even if it's resisted. So my opponent does come in and snipe with the Swampert, and now it's a race, and uh, and we lose it. The opponent gets to cross poison, but Superior pulls through. Superior is a very tanky uh, grass-type Pokemon, so we are barely able to hang on after that uh, cross poison, and we are able to take out the area dose with the aerial ace move. Some people like to run triple grass moves on their superior, and I think that makes a lot of sense for certain strategies, but in this case, I really like having the coverage of aerial ace. So yeah, that's what I like to run here. In this case, it comes in handy because I otherwise have no play against that shadow dragonite. Fortunately, they let that move through. Dragonite was going to be a, a problem for this team. The only like uh, comforting aspect of seeing a Dragonite on the lead is, first, I know it's there, and secondly, Dragonite is very glassy in the, in the Great League. But this is not a particularly good situation. We have already lost a shield. They bring in a Nidoqueen, which, even with resisted moves, is going to be able to do very well against our Sviper because Sviper is not a particularly beefy Pokemon. And we have the problem of uh, Superior being weak to poison types, which are kind of everywhere in this league. And my opponent has a Shadow Granbull in the back. So you can see just how much those uh, shadow charms are chunking. Even for a very tanky Pokemon like Superior, Shadow Charm is going to do a lot. So now I just have to hope that Gyarados doesn't get farmed down, which looked really bad, except for... So this is the, the only way I had a chance, is that the opponent 
through as soon as they got their move, and I was able to sneak in a waterfall there. And the fact that my waterfall registered meant that I had that aqua tail and I could throw it at the Shadow Grand Bull. I think that my opponent would have won uh, if they had just thrown the, the charm instead of going immediately for the charge move. But uh, I've panicked in situations like that as well, and I, I understand how <laughs> tempting it can be to throw exactly on alignment. So that makes sense. In any case, this is just a bit of Great League fun before we move on to the Ultra League. I hope that you enjoyed seeing my Snakey Snake theme team here. And I'll have some Ultra League videos coming at you soon. Ultra League is my favorite of the GBL uh, platforms, so I, I think there will be lots of fun to be had in the coming week. Go ahead and leave this video a like if you enjoyed the content. I would really appreciate it, and uh, I'll have some more content ready for you soon. Until next time, trainers.